Mecca, Saudi Arabia. For Muslims, the holiest place in the world. Birthplace of the Prophet Muhammad and home to the Kaaba, the focal point of all of Islam. Mecca today is home to an extraordinary new building, the Abraj al Bayt, or Mecca Royal Clock Tower. At 600 meters tall, it is easily the largest clock tower in the world. The clock faces are 43 meters across. The gear mechanism is intended to last over 100 years, and each gigantic clock hand weighs six tons. It is undoubtedly a remarkable feat of engineering and design. The Mecca clock tower project, however, has been dogged by controversy from its inception. Many see it as a beautiful monument to one of the world's great religions and a symbol of Mecca to stand alongside Paris's Eiffel Tower and London's Big Ben. But others find its scale and opulence incongruous with the ascetic Islamic faith. For them, its eerie green glow emblematizes all that is wrong with Saudi Arabia's form of Islam. The commercialization of religion and destruction of sites of incalculable historical value. The Mecca Royal Clock Tower is part of a mixed residential and commercial development composed of seven buildings and constructed for an estimated $15 billion. They sit directly beside the Grand Mosque, the largest structure in the world by surface area, which was recently expanded at a cost of 21.3 billion US dollars. Its new capacity is hard to believe, two million people. And the Grand Mosque houses the Kaaba, the black cube-shaped building which is Islam's most sacred site. For centuries, pilgrims have been coming here as part of the Hajj, the pilgrimage to Mecca that every Muslim who is physically and financially able must make in their lives. As part of the Hajj, they circle the Kaaba seven times. Like the Jewish tabernacle, the Kaaba is considered the house of God. All Muslims face it in their daily prayers and each year, three million of them visit the Kaaba as part of the Hajj. It can be hard to understand the sheer scale of these numbers. The Hajj is the largest annual gathering of people in the world. But the density of the resultant crowds also makes it extremely dangerous. This is Jamarat Bridge, where the stoning of the devil ritual takes place. Here, as part of the Hajj, pilgrims throw pebbles at three pillars, the Jamarat. In the last 20 years alone, stampedes have led to the deaths of over 3,000 people on Jamarat Bridge. To improve safety and security, the old bridge was demolished. and a new bridge was constructed at a cost of over $1 billion. It's five stories tall. Extensive reconstruction of this type is widely recognized to be necessary as cheap jet travel and rising incomes make the Hajj more accessible to Muslims worldwide. The number of people making the yearly pilgrimage is only expected to rise. By 2025, an estimated 17 million people will visit Mecca annually. But for some, the Royal Clock Tower is a step away from well-meaning renovation and a step towards distasteful opulence. It certainly constitutes a triumph of human engineering. At 607 meters, it's the third tallest building in the world and is visible from 24 kilometers in any direction. It breaks over 30 world records from largest clock face in the world 35 times larger than that of London's Big Ben, to longest minute hand at 23 metres. 
its construction was particularly challenging. Many of the architects, engineers and designers assembled to plan it were unable to visit the site, as only Muslims are permitted in Mecca. And the clock posed many engineering challenges. Every component, from the carbon fibre clock hands to the bronze alloy gear mechanism, had to be custom designed and precision engineered. Meanwhile, a 12,000 tonne steel structure was required to support the immense weight of the clock and withstand speeds of up to 324 kilometres per hour. The load-bearing framework resembles the Eiffel Tower. Another task of gigantic complexity was the gold leaf mosaic encrusting the clock's exterior. It was to be assembled from 93 million glass tiles. But where to find them? The designers turned to Venice, Italy, where mosaic glass has been produced for over a thousand years. Their order, the largest ever, required developing robotic production methods. The resulting 12,000 square feet of mosaic are enough to cover two football fields. Another hurdle was ensuring visibility at night. Lighting engineers from Austria ruled out illumination from outside or within, settling instead on embedding LED lights in the surface of the clock and its hands. Over two million LEDs were produced for the Mecca Royal Clock Tower, together with 32 laser beams visible from over 30 kilometers away. They form the largest light show in the world, and their peak consumption of 2.2 megawatts is enough to power a small town. Meanwhile, the sound system mounted at the top of the tower is the most powerful in the world. Thanks to computer-aided acoustic modelling, it can broadcast seven kilometres in every direction without deafening those at the base of the tower. But the Mecca clock tower has also attracted controversy. It stands on the former site of a 1781 stone citadel called the Ajad Fortress, whose destruction in 2002 sparked global outcry. The Turkish culture minister called it a crime against humanity and a cultural massacre. Yet it is only one small piece of the ongoing demolishment of such structures. Saudi Arabia's state-sponsored strain of Islam, Wahhabism, a hardline theology which has been described as ultra-conservative, even fundamentalist, considers historical religious sites to encourage sinful idolatry. As a result, mosques, burial sites and historical locations associated with Muhammad and other early Islamic personalities are regularly demolished. Up to 95% of Mecca's millennium-old buildings have been destroyed. It is this contradictory legacy that critics cite in decrying the construction of the Abraj al Bayt towers, which house a five-storey shopping mall and a luxury hotel. Its creators hoped that the tower would not only be a clock tower and minaret, but also a sublime symbol and timeless manifest for the Islamic faith. <laughs> يبون يزوم بنا ما بنا أعوذ بالله يعني بيا يعني الروحانية راحت يعني راحت كأنها أي أي ولهذا ولله الحمد يعني هذه مكة المكرمة ما عمل فيها رخيص مهما كان. But some wonder if the early destructiveness of Wahhabism paved the way to a hardline Islam whose offshoots include Al Qaeda. Does the Mecca Royal Clock Tower point to a new, lavishly expensive vision of Islam taking root, to a Mecca reconceived as Las Vegas? One thing is certain. Driven by the same petrodollars that fueled Wahhabist expansion, the paradoxes of modern Saudi Arabia will continue to delight and outrage the world. <laughs>